In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-purpose uh, infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the percentage of the employee where you can have the employee performance slide and you can add the image and then you can add the title and the detailed text. And when I click, it will show the next employee with 50% and you can add the details here and then the 30% and the 20% respectively. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. And from the basic shape, select the oval shape, just click the oval shape, maybe this much size. Or if you want, you can just increase uh, maybe to 1.5, the height and width. All right, sorry, let me just make it 1.5, 1.5, yeah. Then I'm just going to make it align center, align middle, and shape fill, you can use some light colors, shape outline, make it no outline. Now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Control D, and you can give some different color, and later on we can change this color, and maybe this one I'm going to give as 2.5, the height and width again both align center align middle and send this to back so likewise i'm going to add uh, five circles so this is second so this is third let me just change the color to some other color and maybe i can give this one to four you can see here again align center align middle and send this to back and if you feel that the size is uh, bigger you can just uh, increase or decrease the size depending on the requirement maybe instead of 2.5 I can give this as 3 okay and let me just align center align middle so then control D to duplicate change the color this one I'm going to make it 5 align center align middle send this to back so this is 1 2 3 4 and one more I'm going to add and giving some other color again so this one i'm going to make it as six again align center align middle and send this to back so you can see here i've added one two three four and five oval shapes all right now i'm going to add two uh, rectangles so draw a rectangle from the center maybe this much height and width shape outline make it no outline align center align middle i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then this also align center align middle and i'm going to rotate right 90 degrees so i end up getting a uh, design something which looks like this so now i'm going to duplicate this slide if something goes wrong we have a backup slide okay so now i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a to select all the objects go to the shape format merge shape and select the fragment so you end up getting something like this so now i'm going to select this shape and delete it you can see here let me just zoom out and here i'm going to select this shape and i'm going to delete it all right and inside also let me just delete this one so i end up getting you can see here one two three four like that same thing here also so now what i'm going to do is this side if you see here this side i'm going to kept only very a small percentage so i'm going to delete this one this one and this one and second here this one i'm going to select only two keep two and uh, delete the other two okay and here i'm going to keep only three so one two three and here four okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this objects by holding the shift key and again go to the shape format merge shapes and make it a union why you need to make a union because these are the different objects okay for that you need to merge it so let me just select this one merge and union and here i'm going to select this four and again merge and make it a union so we end up getting a design which looks something like this now for this you can just change the color the way you want i can just go to the shape fill i can give maybe some light color green color here 
I can give some kind of a dark teal color here. Here I can give a kind of a blue or turquoise. Here I can give some kind of a indigo color or any other color of your choice. So you can see here I've got this shape. And again, if you like to add one more oval shape, you can add it. Go to insert shapes, select the oval shape. And from the center, I'm going to hold the control shift key. You can see here, I got the kind of this oval shape, shape outline, no outline shape fill. I'm going to make it white and then I'm going to make a transparent effect. So go to the format shape, fill and make it a transparent here. And make sure this is align center, align middle. You can see here I've got this particular design. Now, the next thing I'm going to insert four rectangles here, small rectangles. You can see here, shape outline, no outline. Press control D, I'm going to add one more here. Press control D to duplicate, add one more here. And again, duplicate, add one more here. So now this color, I'm going to fill this with the same color with the background. You can see here for this one, I'm going to choose this. This will be the indigo color and this will be our teal color. All right. Now you need to go and insert some icons. If you already have some icons, you can use those icons or you can use the icons uh, from the PowerPoint and you can download it. Okay, so let me just uh, drag this down. All right, you can see here we have got a wide variety of uh, icons. So let me just choose uh, maybe a girl. This is a boy. And then I can just choose some other icons also, maybe a kind of a police and this one and click insert. The icons got inserted, maybe the height and width. I'm going to make it as two which is much bigger and I'm going to put it here you can see here I'm going to put it whichever way you want maybe the girl I'm going to put it here this one will come here and this one will come here all right and again I'm going to give the same color what I have chosen here okay so let me just give the same color here I'm going to give the green and here I'm going to give the turquoise. All right. So once this is done, you can go to insert text box and you can add the percentage. Maybe here the 75%. Okay. I'm going to use the font called Arial Black. And font color will be white. Increase the size. All right. Center align. And then press Ctrl D to duplicate. Here, maybe it's going to be like 50%. Okay, press Ctrl D. This will be, or maybe a 30%. And let me just reduce the font size so that it will fit here. And press Ctrl D. And here could be 20% only. And then reduce the font size further. All right, so you can see here. Uh, we can add the percentage like this and then you can add the title and the detail text so here I'm going to add title here center align make it bold okay and then put it here again if you want you can use the same color and then you can add some detail text here equals LORM within brackets one and I don't need this much long text. I'm going to delete it. Reduce the font size. Maybe the font color. I'm going to give a gray color. Center align. And I'm going to put it here. All right. So now, again, if you want, you can just increase the size like this. Or I can reduce further also. 10. All right. So now I'm just going to select both of these. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and then add it here for each option. You can see here and then we need to just change the color according to the selection what we have selected here. All right. So you can see here and then this will be the indigo color. Yeah. 
so this is our final design and if you like to do some basic animation you can uh, do the animation to it